much because the pants are equal. Uh, we're gonna start the brine for the ribs. Like I said, it's um, it's water, equal parts sugar, uh, salt, and we're gonna throw a little soy sauce and ginger also into this mix. A little trick for ginger: you get ginger at the store. Instead of having to get through all these grooves with like an actual peeler, it's kind of tough, and sometimes you might nick your fingers and stuff like that. A really easy thing to do is grab a spoon, hold the ginger here in your hand like this, and take the edge of that spoon and you just kind of want to scrape this stuff off. Really easy. That's the way it's safe. You can actually hit your finger. It's not cutting your left. There you have it. Clean ginger right there, ready to work with. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this ginger, just kind of push this, push this over to the side. We're just going to throw a rough chop on it, you know, just a real quick slice. Just like that, we're going to throw that in there. Alright, we have some water. Just pour that in real slow. You don't want to throw it in there too, too hard, it's going to start splashing everywhere. And right there to the point where you just cover the ribs. I'm gonna do it. We have our salt here. And our sugar. A little bit of soy sauce. You take that same spoon that you were cleaning the ginger with. Just kind of move the stuff around. There you have it. Now with this brine right here, you want to let this sit for about an hour inside of the brine. Make sure the ribs are covered. And what's going to happen is the salt and the sugar is actually going to break down the meat just a little bit. Now the soy sauce will help with that and flavor because we're also going to use this as our braising liquid. We're also going to cook half these on the barbecue. But the braising liquid for this is phenomenal. It tastes really good. We'll catch you back there.